Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back for another tablescape video. So today I am setting my table for Thanksgiving. Um, and I typically set my table with very similar pieces every single year because I have only so many pieces for every holiday. Uh, things like this pumpkin and acorn table runner. I have a lot of acorn uh, decoration pieces. Um, are staples for me because I love them and I can only bring them out this time of year. So this is when I use them. This year, I did get a brand new uh, salt and pepper shaker. These cute little turkeys. My mom got them for me from an estate sale, so I don't even know if I'm going to be able to find a link for y'all, but I will try. Um, they are so cute and they are mostly like salmons and pinks with a little bit of sea foam on the back and then a smidge of dark green at the very, very top. So typically for Thanksgiving, I do uh, coppers as like my dark fall kind of tone. Instead of rose gold, I do a true copper. So this year I also have these pretty little uh, rose gold leaf napkin rings and so I'm trying to pull in more of that sea foam or the green from the turkeys so I, I pulled out a few pieces we're gonna play around with them and we're going to see if we like where they end up so I have green napkins these are ones that I kept for my Christmas table I thought the velvet was very Christmassy and my Christmas plates are blush and sea foam, so I thought this would be great. Um, I also grabbed some sea foam dinner plates, or not dinner plates, uh, salad plates. I thought that might pull in the green a little bit. I don't have too many green or sea foam pieces at all. I have more sea foam than green. I don't really love green. Uh, so we're going to see. I also grabbed this dark pink velvet table runner. I thought maybe the velvet napkins and this having cutouts that we may be able to layer these for a fun look, but it may just end up being like way too much. So we're going to get started, I think, by taking the tablecloth off and seeing if the table runner idea has any merit. So let's see. always bring in some more rose gold and some more copper. I have a few more dark burgundies that might pair well as well. Mainly at this point I'm trying to decide do I have anything that would work for glasses. I have pink cups. Girls, thank you. That's very sweet. Anytime I'm over here cleaning dishes, they think that someone's knocking on their door. Or not, it's just me. So this table runner is pretty long. So I usually have to have it scrunched up a bit to fit on my table. Which is why I'm not 100% sure how this is going to work. with the other thing. But we'll see. Let's just scrunch it up and see if I put it flat. Um, I can always fold it in half. That might be a winner. Ooh, I don't know. I kind of like it. Okay. Let's see. So far, so far, I like that. It's very, the pink actually makes the top part pop a lot more since my table is white. Okay, give me a second. I've got these Linux French Pearl placemats, which are kind of the same vibe as the table runner that like fall. <laughs> But 
for these to work, they'd have to go under the Is that too much? plates on and see what we think. The placemats might be too much. And I, you can only have so many linens on a table. So we're going to do two plates on top of our table runner. Two plates on the placemat. better without the placemats. Placemats are too much. In which case, I think I would rather set the places offset and not on the table runner. Which is kind of a weird placing. It's actually, as you can see behind my one chair, uh, where we eat. So we have the two bench spots and then the two chair spots. All right, let's try the napkins. It's a shame these didn't work. I've used these for fall before, but I think it's just too many linens, which is not something I normally have a problem with, because as you know, my philosophy is more is more. I like that. And since it's the green napkin on the green plate, it's not super busy. So back to the cups. My options are light pink that will match the plates. Clear. Or Kind of a jewel toned blue. It's not navy, it's not baby blue, it's like a peacock blue. Which I don't have any peacock blue on this table, but the pie safe is blue. And I feel like it's a more rich jewel tone, kind of like the dark pink of this is. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. mother, the one who owns the house and is paying for you to live here. Let me get the glasses. So, here's the cups. Maybe too much. I'm, I'm not, I don't hate them. I just don't know yet. We're going to have to wait on these, I think. Until we got everything else up. But I did grab a set of blue uh, knife rests. These are from Hungary and they are gorgeous. I have them, it's a whole set of, uh, I think like 16. I got them in an antique shop and I have four blue, four pink, four green, and then a few that are kind of like mixed colors. So I'm gonna try the blue. See if it helps pull in the blue. The pink or the green would also work. Grab my rose gold silverware to pull in the rose gold of this. And then the, the hit or miss, what's gonna make or break this table is the centerpiece. And I'm thinking I've got like a neutral fall-esque kind of cake plate. I think that would be good, give us a little height. All right, so, got first of all, our 
keep plate. Yeah, that's nice. That's a good scale for this. Maybe these guys will go up here since they are the whole point of this. We'll see. We will see. All right, I only got knives, forks, and spoons since it's a uh, crowded table. And there's only a few of us eating Thanksgiving dinner here this year, at least actual dinner. We'll have more for pie and dessert afterwards. So, I know I'm not cooking a multi-fork and spoon formal table worth of dinner we can get by with just the one. It is fun now that I get to actually host Thanksgiving and Christmas. I got to host last year, I get to host this year. That people get to actually come use my tablescapes other than just like for a precursory fun meal, you know, like a lunch. They actually get to have Thanksgiving here. I would much rather still be doing it at my grandma's house, but that's not an option. My mom I thought would be hosting because I mean she always hosted growing up. We were military, so we never really got to come home for holidays. Uh, but mom has decided why should she set a whole table, do a whole thing when I already do it here? And I'm like, that's fair. That's a hundred percent fair. Let's see what we've got here. So I have these flowers, which have very very similar tones. They've got the seton, the pink, the darker ruby. I'm thinking those up here. And then I've got a little uh, cutting board, cheese board. I actually have a whole video on this one. I made it with, covered it in resin. So I wouldn't necessarily cut on this cutting board, but I brought a set of spreaders that I made. They say spread joy, spread happiness, spread love. We'll link all that below. I um, mean, I typically make a cheese ball for these kinds of things. So we could put a little cheese ball there. That would be cute. And you know, we're not sewing into a cheese ball. Still got a spot back here. I don't necessarily need to fill. We would probably put like a serving dish here. On the day of, I would probably remove the flowers and put another serving dish here, but that's pretty cute so far. Let me look at it from y'all's angle. All right, y'all. I think I love it. I'm still not 100% sure that I wouldn't love. I have some, like, darker pink, like this color pink glasses. Um, and I think they would look just as good on the table as the blue. They would help tie in that darker pink color. But then we would solely be working with the pink and the green, and since I don't have that dark green kind of glass, I think the blue brings it into a more jewel toned realm as opposed to just the pink. So I'm gonna leave the blue and the blue knife rest. I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and add serving bowl to the table so they're not all over here on the sideboard. And there's still a price tag on this. I have used these flowers for like I literally never noticed this price tag. That's crazy. Oh well, big flowers. I definitely prefer real ones, but sometimes you just go with what you got, and these are, they're very pretty cakes. So, I hope you like this table. I'm going to bring you in and show you the finished look. I think it's going to be really pretty for Thanksgiving, and I cannot wait to actually sit here and eat Thanksgiving dinner. And I've got to put some salt and pepper in those salt and pepper shakers. My mom, like I said, she got them at an estate sale. Um, 
I don't typically worry about washing salt and pepper shakers, but I've even like I have a vintage set that I've never actually put salt and pepper in. I usually just use them kind of as decor in my kitchen. But if they're going to be on the table, probably should put salt and pepper in them, which means I probably should wash them out first. So new fun things. I'm going to bring it all in for a closer look. Leave a comment down below if you would have stuck with the dark blue glasses or if you would have switched for the pink because I'd like to know your opinion. Bye, y'all.